You are following a developing story tonight as police search for a man who allegedly ambushed his ex-wife outside of a West 38th Street daycare. Although it appears no children witnessed the shooting, an expert says parents need to keep a close eye on them. It looks like a bitter child custody dispute may be the motive for a horrifying scene outside of the kinder care daycare. A mother is now fighting for her life after taking several bullets at close range. It ended as quickly as it began, but for the children, many of whom immediately went home with their parents, it might be something they never forget. If the child wants to talk about it, then they should be open and available to talk about that. If the child doesn't want to, parents should check in with that child to make sure that the child's, um, you know, handling it well. Police say 33-year-old Christopher Justice shot his ex-wife Shirley Justice shortly after she dropped off the couple child. His attorney told us a judge granted him sole legal and physical custody of his six-year-old daughter, but says she refused to turn over their child while a legal battle continued. In fact, Christopher's attorney was back in court this morning before finding out about the shooting. In this case, the, the issue was that there was the health and safety of, of a young girl at stake, and we believe that that young girl was in serious physical and emotional danger, um, and that's why we acted um, by filing the motion that we filed this morning. Bays Beinert says she's legally obligated to report to authorities if she believes a client is going to hurt someone, but wouldn't say whether she did in this case. Her concern right now is for the child caught in the middle. In this case, what's going through my mind is about this little girl. It's it's not about what's, what's happened. It's about the, the, the great tragedy that has befallen this little girl and, and what will happen and how do we protect her. Shirley Justice had filed two protective orders against her ex-husband, and he had attended a court-ordered course for abusers. At last report, she was in critical condition.